All right, since we're on the, the training uh, uh, tip here, um, so a study came out, here's some more controversy, comparing two exercises for blood, for, for glute development, for butt muscle development. Blunt. Yeah, no, blunt. Blunt. I was say, blunt. For, for, for butt development, it was the hip, hip thrust, thrust and what? And the barbell squat. Ooh. Ooh. So yeah. they compared the two to see, okay, which one builds more mass in the glutes. And the tr and believe it or not, the design of the study was actually quite good. Yeah, let me hear it because this is a Brett Contreras study. No, it wasn't. And okay. you know, okay, I'll have to pull it up to get to give you those details. Has Brett commented on it yet? Um, Since I know this is his wheel. This is a relatively new this is a relatively new study that came out, but it said and, it, and literally it was not bad. On weeks, ready for this? So this is this is what they did for for both groups. They took two groups of women and they they one group did squats, the other group did uh, hip thrusts. On weeks one, five, and nine, the women did 12 to 15 reps with 30 to 60 seconds of rest. On weeks two, six, and 10, the women did four to six reps with three to four minutes of rest. On weeks three, seven, and 11, the women did 10 to 12 reps with one to two minutes of rest. So they periodized you know, well. So they did a good job. For both camp, okay. Yes. So it was not not bad design, right? right? And the whole thing was 12 weeks long. So it's it's a short, relatively short study, yeah. three months long. But I mean, you know, most studies are that long, right? Yeah. So over that over that course, here's what they ended up finding. They ended up finding that the the squat, ready for this? The squ both exercises saw growth in their quads and glutes, but the squat led to more than double the glute growth. What? Twice Ooh. as much muscle in the butt, and then of course expected six times more quad growth. So obviously the quads right. way more growth way with more the squats, evolved. but twice as much growth in the butt. From doing a barbell squat. Oh my okay. goodness! Now, now here, sounds like what we've been arguing. Yeah, we we've been saying this for a long time that the barbell squat is the best glute exercise, generally speaking, right. for most people. But however, there are cases where the hip thrust is probably better. For example, people who's quad have, dominant. Quad dominant. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're getting twice as much butt growth, but six times the quad growth. So that was if a, you're all quad no butt. This is what I was going to ask or poke holes in that study is yeah. that uh, we're assuming that I'm a, and based off of this study for sure. These the ladies that were squatting had good mechanics because if they at all had if they had any sort of issue like that where they're quad dominant you would see a huge discrepancy in that for sure yes and then then what you might see and that's where case by case this matters somebody who actually was doing an isolation exercise like a hip thrust for the glutes would see potentially more results from that because they don't know how to activate their glutes in a squat as well yes if you're somebody whose butt you just don't activate very well when you squat you don't feel it very much your quads respond your butt doesn't mm -hmm. a hip thrust might be a great exercise by the way they're both great exercises if they had a third group and they compared the third group to the other two groups and the third group did, did squats both. and hip thrusts, yes. oh, yeah. then you'd see the most uh, glute right. growth in my in my. It's very opinion. complimentary to squat. I yes. mean, and that's the thing. And like that's a great point in terms of a quad dominant uh, type of situation where you're recruiting already heavily uh, from the quads. You know, it's it's just uh, inevitable that you're going to have more growth in that direction. Yeah, and that's very common, especially yeah. with a, a, a female client that is coming to you to build their butt. They, they probably I, have that issue. I would say more than half the time when I got a client like that that came to me and said, Adam, I've been trying to build my butt forever, and I just all it does is get my legs more developed at least half the time. But that what was the we issue. know with the squat is just like you have to produce a lot more force to pull off that movement. And so you have to actively recruit a lot more muscle fibers to uh, generate this type of force and get involved. And so that's what creates this louder signal, which growth it, well, has more potential. Not to mention, too, you've got, you know, you got three parts of the butt, and part of that is stabilizing the hips. And there's a lot more hip stabilization when, you're, go when you're going into a deep squat than there is in a, more of an isolated exercise like a hip thrust. And the, the, the most glaring difference is the range of motion. Your, your glute yes. range of motion and hip thrust is half mm -hmm. what a full squat is. It's a very full it range of hinges, motion. It just hinges, really. Right. It's almost an isolation exercise. If you, I mean, your knees I are mean, I consider it a, I consider even though it's technically not, I consider hip thrust an isolation Yeah, it's exercise. much more, right? The knee, knee extension is minimal. It's mostly hip, yeah. right? But they're both awesome exercises. But it's a great study because they designed it very well. They compared the two groups. They did good periodization. And what they found is what we've experienced with our clients. The barbell squat is the king of, of butt building uh, or just lower body exercise. In general. But let's say you're a woman. By the way, a lot of the way your body looks isn't just your absolute you know muscle size. It's also your proportions, right? So... So let's say you want your butt to grow. Sometimes, even if you make your butt grow a little bit, but your legs are smaller in comparison, now it looks like you have a more balanced looking butt on your physique. Now we're talking more of a, 
you know, like what you would, how you would judge a bodybuilder or a bikini competitor. Right. So in something like, if, if you're a woman, you're like, I don't want my legs to grow or sculpt at all. I just want to grow my butt. A hip thrust might be, uh, you know, your your prime exercise. Well, I mean, that would be an example would be like we were just we were just mentioning that, you know, over half the clients that I got that came to me that way, they would be an example of, okay, I don't I, I can't take that girl who just came to me and said, Adam, I keep developing my legs and I can't develop my butt and I'm not going to throw her on a barbell back squat right mm-hmm. away. That's not what I'm doing with her. I'm doing exercises to help her get connected to the glutes, which that's where hip thrusts are incredible for. I mean, talk about such a great exercise for somebody who never feels, you know, butt exercises in their butt. You're going to feel your butt in hip thrusts for yeah, sure. Yeah, and I, I've been doing them relatively regularly for the long, actually the longest period I've ever done hip thrusts. I know, uh, I have a hard time watching you do that. I know. It gets you, makes, gives, <laughs> I you, don't, gives I mean, you a weird boner. Yes, it. it's, just, um, it's just weird. <laughs> don't make eye contact. <laughs> I, uh, but I'll tell you what, the carryover that I'm seeing for uh, squats and deadlifts is quite awesome. It's a, it's definitely an additive. Now I would exercise. think deadlifts. I, I I would think it would have mm-hmm. a lot of carryover. Especially to, on that lockout. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, I would think deadlifts. It would have a, a, a massive carryover. Maybe more a more bit. into my deadlifts than my squat. But okay. you know, here's the thing about squats, dude. If my squat goes up, my deadlift goes up almost every single time. Hmm. So every, anything I do that makes my squat better, my deadlift goes up. In fact, I can not deadlift, get stronger in my squat, go grab a bar in three weeks or four weeks and see that my deadlift Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, not the other way around. If I just train deadlift, my squat- I, You know, I've never paid attention to that. That's interesting. Yeah, and hmm. I don't know if that's for everybody, but I think it's it's relatively common. It's uh, It definitely is uh, for me. 